Hi, so because I'm kind of spontaneous and crazy and so intelligent, I'm doing a revision video. Woo! Let me hear you scream for revision! We love it on this channel. <laughs> no, we don't. We hate it so much. I've put together 50 fucking things. 50 things that you can do to revise. I've put in a bit of everything, so hopefully it's helpful. I don't do any of these things, so I can't actually tell you if they work, but studies show that some of them may well help you. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Follow my Instagram. It's on the screen now. And let's get started. Find out what type of learner you are. Now, some studies show that this is a load of bullshit, but because it's one of my 50 things, I'm going to talk about it. You can do quizzes online. You probably know already what type of learner you are, but obviously, if you don't know, then you can find out. You all know how we just remember songs like so easily. We can literally listen to a song once and get it stuck in our heads. Why can't it be like that with information? Well, it can. If you just make a rap, make a song, listen to someone else's already made song, try and remember it, try and get it stuck in your head so then when it comes to the exam, you can be like, mm. pretty good tip if you ask me. Watch YouTube tutorials because obviously these are so helpful. You're watching one right now. Okay, so the next one is to use flashcards. I don't actually have any flashcards like with me because I can't find them, but flashcards are so useful. Useful? Useful because you can learn things by writing it down, obviously to improve your memory of them. And then you can write the answers on the back if you want to do questions or you can just do like flashcards where you can just look at the information, read it over and over again, try and test yourself, put your hand over it. So next tip is to make a PowerPoint. Now this might seem weird, but basically if you make PowerPoints for your subjects, then you can like keep them all in one place. Test your friends and family. Now I've got, oh wait, no one loves me. But you should definitely test your friends and family because this is apparently supposed to be one of the best ways along with getting them to test you, test them. So act as if they are the student, you are the teacher because then you can recite the knowledge to them. And then the next tip after that is to make them test you so that you can see what you're getting wrong, see what you're getting right. My next tip is to use BBC Bite Size. This is like one of the most useful websites I find. It's got all the information really nicely laid out. You can pick your subjects. It has little tests on it and activities that you can do to uh, help your revision. This next one is to drink water regularly because if you don't, you'll start to get headaches, feel really tired, feel really ill, and maybe overheating if it's hot because obviously exams take place in the summer. So yeah, make sure you stay hydrated because this will keep you concentrated and water's just good for you, isn't it? The next tip is to get comfy. So this is a good exemplar outfit. I've got Tweety Bird pajama bottoms on, very, very comfy. Got this fleece on and some socks on. Obviously, you can wear whatever you want, but I feel like comfort is key. Don't revise the night before because it'll stress you out and it's not good for your health and it doesn't even help anyways because you need time and patience to get revision into your brain. One of my biggest, biggest tips is to use revision guides. These are the most helpful things ever. Get the right one for your exam board and your course and literally they have everything you need to know, especially the ones with the um, added exam questions. They are so, so helpful. My next tip is to not stay up all night revising because you don't want to be tired during your exam because you won't want to write, you won't have any motivation. Sleep is like the most important thing about revising. You need to get the balance right between work and sleep and relax time. Make sure you're not staying up all night actively using your brain because then when you actually come to getting into bed, you won't be tired because your brain will be so awake for like the next at least hour. Don't stress about revision no matter how badly how well you do it's just a number at the end of the day exams don't mean everything there are ways around it if you don't get the grades you can always retake your english and maths if you don't get it the first time don't worry it'll be fine post-it notes are an amazing way of revision if you stick these all around your room then you can see all the information like 24 7 like you always be looking at it so hopefully that will add to your memory of the topics 
plan ahead while revising so basically don't revise the night before make sure you plan out when you want to start revising work out how much you actually need to learn and then see start with it like an hour or two hours a day and then take it back to when you should actually start revising so you know that you have good time I feel like I want to do this when I actually sit my GCSEs because I think it'll help me not stress about how much time I have Make a revision timetable. Now there's so many apps that can do this for you if you can't be asked to get a ruler out because let's be honest, who actually even has a ruler? Uh, not me. And this will just mean that you're on track. You won't just be sat there like, what the hell do I revise? Hopefully it will help you balance all subjects out. Make a to-do list. Yes, an old fashioned to-do list. Get your pens out, put to-do at the top and write a reasonable list of things because if you put too many things on there that you know you're not just gonna get done like there's no point so maybe put like three or four points now legend says that you should revise at a desk because it will keep you more motivated and scientists say that your bed should be for relaxing and your desk should be for working you shouldn't cross them over because then your bed doesn't become a place of relaxation it becomes a place of work so make sure you aren't working on your bed don't be boring motherfuckers, use coloured pens. Now this is one of the most important ones, always remember to take breaks because without breaks then you're basically gonna work yourself way too hard and you won't learn anything because you'll be so exhausted. Set timers on your phone for say a solid half an hour of revising then take a 5-10 minute break and it won't seem like it's as taxing as doing like a full hour with no breaks. Oh, sorry, didn't see you there. Too busy listening to my AirPods. Oh, that was the cringiest thing I think I've ever done. Next one is to listen to some music. Obviously, if you think you can still revise while listening to like normal music, like put a bit of Kesha on, go wild. Go onto Spotify and type in a revision playlist. Yeah, I've just typed in revision and there's so many options. Next one is to space yourself out. So what I mean by this is space out your revision. Maybe get home from school, have half an hour to an hour of relaxation time and then get down to some revision. Maybe do an hour before tea time or maybe don't start till after tea time. Whatever works best for you. Leave time for your hobbies because then what's the point if you're just going to revise, revise, revise? Because we've all watched In Between Us and we all know that Will's technique of revising non-stop did not work and he shat himself in the exam. Oh no. Phil. Oh Jesus. Do not shit yourself in the exam. It makes revising so much easier because you're in a healthy mindset. Revise outside kids. Revise outside. Change up your scenery. Make it beautiful. Make it special. I don't know what I'm saying. The next tip you might think is slightly strange, but it's to stick with paper. So what I mean by this is obviously websites and revision apps and things like that are always useful. Like use them, use them, use them. But sticking to paper can actually be really useful because obviously electronics aren't good for your eyes or your brain. And especially if you're revising like before you go to bed, maybe just do it on paper, write some notes, highlight. And yeah, just get yourself a few pads of paper, a few folders and organize yourself. The next one is to use your exercise books, use your school books because these have all the gems of information that you need. I know that most of my teachers only make us note down the most important things so if you look through a book you may not have everything but you'll have a lot of the important stuff that you know that you need to learn. We all know Sage is an exercise but I put down exercise as one of my tips because exercise keeps your body healthy and active and can take your mind off revision. Revision can also hurt your back so make sure you stretch. It'll just make you feel so much better after being stuck inside all day, especially say if you've done a whole weekend of revision. Go to bed early, maybe about 10, 11, I'd say is a good time. Try and get yourself into a routine if you can, and then in the morning you won't be tired for your exam. Make sure you do practice papers and questions online because that means that you'll get into the rhythm of doing exam questions because I find a lot of my teachers, they just give us the notes and tell us what the actual content is. We don't apply it to questions till I think year 11. 
Next tip is to pretend to be the teacher. So even if it's not to anyone, you can just pretend and act as if you're teaching it to someone because then I feel if you're speaking out loud and you're going through every single step, then you'll kind of get that into your head. I'm guessing that's how this tip is supposed to work. And this other tip is to put away your bloody phone. Put it under your pillow, put it downstairs, put it somewhere you know you won't be distracted or you could even just put it onto do not disturb. The next one is as well as using BBC Bite Size, you should use Quizlet. This is so good. Basically online flashcards, but they've also got like quizzes and games. Yeah, I think everyone's used Quizlet, but it's just so easy. You can create your own flashcards if you don't find what you're looking for. Thanks Quizlet for being a thing. The next one is to not overlearn, which may sound weird, but if you spend too long on like one subject or you just learn the same thing over and over again, like chances are you're gonna know that thing and also it won't do you any good learning subject for like three hours straight because you'll just get bored of it and your mindset won't be active, it'll be asleep. I don't know, it's just not good for you. I've heard that it's not good for you, so don't do it, it's not good for you. Make a mind map, get a nice clean page. It's probably easy to use plain paper for this because you can see it better. Personally, I don't think mind maps work that well, but they work really well for a lot of people, so it's something to give a try. Definitely ask your teachers for help because they're gonna know the answers to your questions more than anyone else. Go to them at lunch times, go to them after school. I'm sure they won't mind sparing a few minutes to answer your questions or give you some revision techniques. Next one is such a fun one. Stick your papers to your walls. So once you've made all your beautiful revision notes, stick them to your walls. I'm quite lucky as I have an attic room so I could stick them like on the slant and I'd be able to see them from my bed. Isn't that cool? Stick them on your ceiling, stick them on your bed, stick them on places where you know you'll be a lot of the time so you can just look at them. Write things over and over and over. This is a technique that worked for my sister when she did her GCSEs. She just got out a notebook and wrote down the notes over and over and over and over and over. And hopefully if you have like a picture memory like I do, then you'll just remember like the way you've written it. Like try and write them in different ways, try and write them in different colors to get yourself to try and remember them. Have snacks as I've already said, but this time it's not necessarily healthy things. It can be drunk food, so eat whatever the hell you want start revision early do not leave it till the week before your chemistry exam literally that is the worst thing you can do say if you're doing your gcse's and you have your exams in may and june start revising at least three months before because honestly there's so much content nowadays in the new gcse's what's the square root of 62 there isn't a square root of 62 you fucking idiot Wake up early for your exam. You don't want to be late for your morning exam. If you wake up early, you won't feel as tired because you'll have been awake for a couple of hours before your exam. It's just a win-win sitch. So yeah, wake up early, kids. Make sure that you mix up your subjects when revising. So don't do three hours straight of chemistry. That is very, very boring. Make sure that you maybe do an hour of one subject, an hour and other. Jumble up your subjects with your revision timetable and you won't fuck up really attend after school revision sessions because these will really help you if you are stuck on a certain subject again you can have the help with the, your teacher without having to like teach it yourself also if your school offers revision days like during the half term or during the holidays make sure you go to them too because they could be really beneficial to your final gcse exam also, if you have an iPhone or any sort of thing that has a reminders app, set reminders. If you know that you're going to forget to learn a certain subject, a reminder will kind of press you more into doing it so you know that, that you're going to do it. One really, really, really helpful tip is to condense information. So say if you have one big paragraph or notes on a certain like little topic, then if you try and condense it down as much as you can to something really, really simple that you know you can understand and just look at, it'll be really useful because in exams, even if you're not gonna get the full marks for full explanations, if you have like the core words and information, you're bound to get like two or three marks. Moving on from that, remember to review each topic. Say you've learned a full physics topic, make sure after you go through all the things you should know and if there's one certain element that you don't know, make sure you go back over that. 
the most important thing is to repeat, repeat, repeat because you're never going to get anywhere if you don't have perseverance and patience. Make sure you sit down and you just do it and you just repeat all your notes and you just keep going for months and months. You won't regret it when you open your results paper and you've got the grades you need and you have the satisfaction of knowing that you can get into the college you want to go to, you can get into the sixth form you want to go to. Just repeat, repeat, repeat. And finally, treat yourself. There's no point in doing so much work for no reward. And the main reward is the good grades you're gonna get after watching this video, woo! And we're at the end. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, tell me if any of these tips work. Remember to follow my Instagram, it's on the screen right now, and subscribe, let's try to hit 60K. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, love you all so much. Mwah.